<laughs> hey, what's going on, y'all? Okay, so we are at Yates Mill. Where's it say? Here. Historic Yates Mill County Park. So this is uh, just south of Raleigh by Lake Wheeler. So we're gonna go here. Um, we're gonna go, I think first, we're gonna walk the trail. Um, so it goes for like right here. It goes the whole way around here. So we're gonna go walk around that real quick. But this should be fun. I'm gonna um, show you all some stuff. And then if you're ever by Raleigh, you can go visit. Okay, so with us living in Pennsylvania, which is like farm country, I have heard of this. We actually we studied this, but it's the Three Sisters Garden. So that's what it looks like. See how you have the corn stalks and then you have the bean vines and everything. So basically what it does is, I'll zoom in on that for you. You can uh, pause the video right there and read that. But basically you're, um, you plant your corn, your corn stalks grow up, your beans can vine up around the corn, um, and then you plant squash down here and the squash keeps weeds and stuff from growing up. So that's in a, Oh, and the beans, um, the bean stalks that grow up, when they're rooted and stuff, that actually provides nitrogen for the uh, corn and everything, which is good. So it's nitrogen-rich soil. It's good for the corn, but this is much as I'm going to do on that. Okay, so there's the mill. We just came down this road right here. Um, this road goes down, and I'm assuming that's where they would load to. But check this out. That's the mill. I haven't found a sign to say how long. Did you guys see a sign that said how long this has been? I think like maybe early 19th century. I don't know. But anyway, it's the bottom underneath like the foundation for it. That is so cool. And then down here, look at this. It says Northern um, Water Snake Habitat. Please don't disturb the snakes. That's so cool. Like that's um, the Yates Mill Pond is on the other side of that. And it's just an overflow, like a spillway sort of deal. We're gonna go over on that side right there. I see a staircase over there. Check that out. So there's the the actual mill part. That's pretty cool. The mill wheel. That's really neat. Okay, so somewhere up there, for, that's the trough right there they open that trough up and that lets the water come down and then that's what spins the wheel okay. and then see how there are um, gears right here on the back of the wheel see what I'm talking about those gears were what spun there um, there's like an axle that goes back right there and there's that the gears the big gear spins the little one really fast and then that's what works the actual mill. Pretty cool. Okay, so here we go. You guys can pause the video for a second to read that. So that was actually in the 1890s. It's pretty cool. So it was a vital business and a community hub. So it created energy and they took raw materials and everything. That's really cool. And it improved the drinking water. 1939. 1947. 1957. Wow, did you see it? it says just four years after the mill closed, the building already looked abandoned. Nature claimed the mill with untented pants. <laughs> 1970s. 1980s. 1996 was Hurricane Fran. 1999 was rebuilt. 2002. By this time, external restoration of the mill was completed. 
complete and water again flowed over the dam. That's pretty cool. Alright, so Jonas is going to demonstrate this would be the gate to let the water through. So he's going to demonstrate how to. So, this is what they do to open the gate. It's pretty cool. So, they'd use the gears and stuff. Take it back on, please. They would use the gears and then it's a gear track, and then that would help because all that water pushing against it. It's yeah. pretty cool. Very cool. And then this, if you want to hit the button, this is how they got it up to the... Warning, it's loud. This is how they got it up to the other floor. It goes in here, through here, and all the way up there, down the tube, back down in, and then this is the auger that they used. Look at this little guy. Tiny toad. It's a little tiny toad. Oh, don't jump in there.